writing. Okay. Can you think of any types of creative writing? Because that's what we're going to be going through today, the different types. What, what possibly um, could you uh, be asked the question of in creative writing? What kinds of questions could come up? What could they ask you to do? What formats could they ask you to do? So you can see here, we've got three different gifts, gifts, not gifts. We have story writing. So story writing is when they just ask a simple type of question, such as, you know, describe a day at the beach, something very, very simple. And then there is uh, also the story writing that would use a picture. You know, that was what we were practicing yesterday, actually, where we've got the picture prompt. We can't, you know, go too crazy with the picture. We've got to keep it fairly realistic, as in we need to write about what we can see in the picture. But we can have things moving in and out within reason, animation, things like that, um, and bring it to life a bit because we need to do that in order to be creative, in order to write a good story. OK. We've got the continuous story. OK, so sometimes what you might have. Is you will actually also. Pretty well, it's pretty, but pretty much certain that you'll have a comprehension exam at some at some stage in your 11 plus. All right, because it's it's included in pretty much every single 11 plus exam process. So you'll have your comprehension exam and sometimes what schools do, it depends what school you're applying to, but sometimes what they do is they give you the comprehension, they'll ask you a load of questions about it, you'll write the answers to those questions in the comprehension exercise, and then the final question of the comprehension will ask you to continue writing the story, okay? It will ask you to continue writing the story from where the comprehension extract ends. And that will be the continuing the story writing question, okay? And then you need to bear in mind a few things that you've got to do when you continue a story. There's a different, slightly different technique. The mark scheme is very, very similar. But the technique of making that transition between the end of the story and the beginning of your story is actually quite specific. And we're going to talk about it today. There's also diary entries, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner. A diary entry is, you know, it's going to take a similar format actually to your story writing up here. It's going to take a similar format. But there's just a few things we need to bear in mind when we're writing a diary entry that we need to stick to in order to show the examiner that we understand that format. We understand that format of question and we are going to write and deliver in the required style.